Hell on Earth, Gunslinger. I like this map a lot. I like this map a whole heck of a lot. Ouch. I guess I can get the perk really easily, actually. From, uh... Because it's always in the bottom left, right? For the, uh, the script that I might want to make for, um... I'm working on a script to get all... Uh, to make the thumbnails automatically, which means I have to get it to grab the map and perk automatically from the videos. But it looks... I guess, uh, that the, um... The perk should be pretty easy because I can just, uh, grab it from the bottom left at, uh... Any point where it would be visible, I suppose. That would be not too bad. And then the map would be a little bit trickier, but some machine learning should maybe be able to make that happen pretty... Pretty easily. It's probably, you know, machine learning libraries for Python, right? It's gotta be. Let's get a machine learning library, feed it all the videos, let it learn. And then it uh, should be able to grab the map pretty accurately from uh, from the videos. The perk should be pretty easy to do with uh, a little bit of image manipulation from... Uh, we're going down this way. A little bit of image manipulation from the um, bottom left of the screen. Then, uh, yeah, that should be mighty, mighty easy. I have to give it, like, all the different perk symbols, but, um, honestly, that I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that. If I'm gonna make the machine learning anyway, I may as well add it in, but, I mean, like, it's, it's guaranteed to be there. The issue with, with using that spot is, uh, like, right now it's not there, but I guess I could just look for when... The XP bar is there, and then like find a moment where that's there, and then, or like find a moment where the trader is at the top left, or just look for. Well, I guess if I just look for the perks, then you're gonna see these. But there's there's a few moments, there's a few places where the perk is guaranteed to be if certain windows are open, like at the bottom left there, at the top right there, and then when we're in the trader screen. Uh, you also have it up here. So I guess I could look for a moment where the trader window's open, and then grab it here. So look for where this inventory is here, and then do that maybe? I don't know. I'll have to figure it out, but I think I'm going to be able to do it. Get the perk pretty easily. Um, that I'm thinking that should be doable. And then it's just a matter of changing the, uh, the, 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 the map. I won't have to worry about changing the perk anymore. So that would be pretty sick. I think for now I'm just going to pick like a moment halfway through. It'll either be like this or in the trader. Those are the two moments. Those are the, or, well, the three different things, right? And then I'll just uh, like see what perk it is based on, on those three places. And um, then if it doesn't, if it's not confident, it'll, it'll ask for... For what perk it is. And then for the map, I'll have to see if there's a, a spot in all of the videos, like in all of them, that has... Like for, for this, I can easily just say, yeah, halfway through the video, I'm either going to be in a trader menu or fighting sets. Right? Like the, it's, it's... Or possibly have that thing open, right? Like this. But... You know, like, I don't have to have, like, a specific moment. It's not like, you know, 10 seconds from the end or, or whatever. And it's, it's just randomly anywhere in the video. One of those things will be true, as long as it's not too close to the start or too close to the end. Um, I could also die. And then it could get a death, but... I guess that could actually happen, and it's not even that unlikely. Let's see if there's a, a spot on death where, uh... I do die quite a bit. <laughs> um, find something like that, and then that should be getting the perk done. They just have to change the map. And at that point, I mean, I guess I could just have it ask me what the map is, and I just tell it what the map is, and it'll just make the thumbnail itself. And then upload the video, and heck yeah, this is going to be great. It's going to be great. I'm going to do this, like, today. Hold up. This is actually, like, not going to be that hard. Yeah, no, this will be fantastic. This will make my life so much easier. I just, like, run the script. It goes through, grabs all the things, moves them all, renames them all, uploads them all. And then... 
like does its thing. This will be fantastic. Yeah, no, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna do this, and then you know it'll be another project to put on my uh, my website. I have to make sure I don't put my YouTube credentials up though. Oh, I've done that before. My GitHub accidentally put up like some OAuth tokens and stuff. Oof. Feels bad, man. I mean, everybody's done it, right? Everybody's accidentally leaked, you know, their OAuth credentials or or something. They've done it at least once, okay? Happens to the best of us. We just have to go through and and a remove them from GitHub, but uh, you know, once it's on the internet, it's on the internet. It's there, right? With all the archives and all this kind of stuff, like it's there. Uh, so you have to go through, revoke all the access tokens and. Reset them all up, and oh, it's a major pain, but it doesn't happen often. So it's not like it's not like a thing that I have to do every week, right? I have done it exactly once. I leaked somebody else's account tokens that time, though. So I was running a, a bot for um, for a streamer I used to watch, and still technically moderate, technically I suppose. Hello. Um, and uh, we had the uh, the bot account there, which was his account, but I had the OAuth token for it, and um, it wasn't his account. It was one of his account, like the the, the account he made for the bot, right? Um, and uh, I accidentally leaked that token, and I was like, oh no! I was uploading my uh, my bot, and I just I forgot to purge it. So that was that was early on. I mean, that was the that was the project I actually. That bot was um, for for Twitch, like a moderator kind of bot, helping to manage the channel kind of thing. That was actually my uh, I want to learn Python. Let's start a project, right? Like that was what I learned Python in. Um, so, and then and my life has been all about Python ever since. But um, so. You know, since since then, I have I have gotten more used to how to use Python and uh, how to hide the credentials and stuff, so like that wouldn't happen anymore, really too much. Um, but you know, it's still it's still a little bit, at least, frustrating, right? To uh, to leak it. Anyway, I will uh, I'll be able to add that new YouTube uploader thingy. To my uh, my website as a project, It'll be the first completed proper good project that I'll be able to upload to my website. Something that's actually like mildly impressive. It's mildly good. Um, it'd be pretty nice to have that up there. And uh, then I'll have that there. And that'll be good. So I'll see if I can do that before tomorrow. Because tomorrow's when I have to upload all of the, uh, the, or I have to upload the stuff today, ideally, or at least tomorrow morning. Um, so it's all processed by the time I go through and add the end cards and all that. Which is the other thing that's kind of going to suck, is I can't go through, I can't upload them and immediately add the end cards. Like, I have to upload them, wait for YouTube to process it, and then add the end cards. I'm like, I don't really care, like, I don't know why. I really, I really genuinely do not understand why I have to wait for it to finish processing the videos before I can add the end cards. Like, I know what the end cards I'm adding are, okay? It's gonna be the same as every other video I've ever put on my channel. I wonder if there's a way to set default end cards. There might be. I don't honestly know. Cause that's really just frustrating. I don't really get why it works that way. I wanna be over here. Cause this way I have the most visual. Like, information. I have the most visual information, okay? Uh, we are heading up here because we are getting hounded by a couple of things which I don't really want to be hounded by. Get out of here. No, we don't. We have a quarter pound. They're very different things. Please don't insult the quarter pounds. Or the flesh pounds. Don't insult the flesh pounds by calling these guys flesh pounds. You are just too lazy to add new dialogue. Don't complete the two, okay? Very different things. Commando can one shot the quarter pounds, okay? No problemo. Oh, 
This chitin little thing is working out pretty okay, hey? It's working out pretty okay. I know there's another scrake somewhere or other, right? Should be, right? Yeah, right there. You enraged? No. Not enraged. Good. Do not want him to be enraged. So that'll uh, be a project for today and tomorrow. Probably. I don't think it'll be that hard, though. Pick a random frame. Figure out what perk it is. Shouldn't be that bad, I don't think. Hopefully. I hope. <laughs> I mean, at the very least, I, if, it, if it's having trouble with it, then it can just show me the frame that it's looking at, and I can be like, oh yeah, go like two minutes forward or something, you know? I mean, I guess I can just have it do that automatically. Like, if it gets one that it doesn't see the thing in, like, just go two minutes forward and try again. And then, you know, like redundancy or whatever. Just give it a couple tries, and then if you can't do it, ask for help. That's, that's, that's the advice I'm giving my program tomorrow, today. Whenever I do it. And then it'll upload the video. So I'll have to see if I can get the uh, the default end cards. Because I really want those. I do have to change them sometimes. Because when I make the KF2 Extras series. Um, they're oftentimes shorter videos. And so having like 15 second end cards or whatever is. I mean that's just. That's a lot of of end card. You know. For the video. That's, that's a, a lot of. Not much content. A lot of end card. Right. It's like. I don't want to cover up the content with it, but most of my videos are long enough that uh, in 10 seconds is not really that much time in the grand scheme of things, so it's fine. Um, but I would like to see if there's ways to do that. I'll have to Google it. I imagine there would be, right? Like, there's no way they wouldn't make it possible to have default end cards. Why would they do that? Maybe it's like a partner-only thing, too. That's the uh, the other possibility, is it could be only for partners. Right, like us, us plebeians, we don't get that kind of a feature. You know, get good kind of deal, yeah, right? And that's also possible, of course. But um, I, think it sh I think it should be possible to do it. At the very least, I can just have another button that I push that'll... Uh, go through and add it all like the next day or it'll even I, I hit the button and it like sets up a like a it schedules something for the next day kind of thing you know that could be done that wouldn't be that bad anyway it should be it should be pretty pretty doable to make this uh this script finally which will be um where are you going yeah you're coming up here okay good 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 i was concerned i am no longer really concerned i am concerned again where am I? What am I doing? Who am I? Where are we? Um, we're gonna go this way. Okay, we're going back up over here, I suppose. This is okay. This is a, a horrible abomination fight, though. I'll tell you that much, okay? You want to see horrible abomination fights like this. This is just textbook bad abomination fight. Like there's just so many of these poops everywhere. You should be coming from over here, I think. Oh my god, how do you even get here? How are you even here? Oh my god, I am being completely overrun by these poops. <laughs> I whiffed those Glock shots on him, man. It didn't work. Wow, to die to the abomination. Those poops, you can't get them quickly. They can overrun you real quick. Anyway, that'll do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to uh, see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.